Okay, hi everybody, Robert here, and we're going to do a simple little video today on the Ray. And uh, we had a question from Mr. Khan again. Uh, we're going to try to make this as simple, as understandable as possible. So the Ray uh, is here. You want to select this, and then I'll select this bed, say. I got a bed here I want to write, and I click on that, and I get these options. So right now, I'm in the linear option here, um, and, and normally here, it's always second to last. So this is what he wants to know. He wants to know the difference between second and last. Okay, so to do the second, so to do what we do in the second is you'll say, we'll select this bed, and we'll say we want these beds uh, six feet apart. Now this number right here is two. This is a default number, and it basically gives you the number of be uh, beds. So right here, this two is the same as this. So I can click this and say five now, and so I get five beds at that distance. I can go up to let's say even just click here, and I can say twenty. So that's all that is. So now let's go back to the single bed. And now, now we want to go to last. So we'll select this bed here. And we'll array it. Now we will select to last. Now this option is a little different. So what happens here is it wants to know the difference. It wants to know the first one was second. Now this one wants to know last. So say we've got a distance here of 30 feet. We'll say 31 feet or 30, 30 feet. And now this integer here will give us the distance between. So let's say five. And that one's always being the last at that end of at that dead integer. So I'll click it again and we'll select it. Say we want this to be 10. So that obviously won't work for us because it's not far out enough. So let's say six. So you can do a lot of things with the, between the two. I, I tend to use this one sometimes because I know a given distance and it'll let me fit things in between. And now if you notice here, these are grouped. They're always in a group. So you can even, uh, now you can edit these groups if you like. I tend to not edit them because they work good together. So for instance, I can take these and I can go, I can mirror these or I can copy these. So I'm going to copy this here. And then I'll still have my array, I think. I'm sorry, let me do that right. Let me undo this. I'm going to grab all these. I want to mirror them. And then if I edit this group, I can remove one. Now finish it. So that one's not in the group anymore. So now let's go back and briefly go over this one more time. So we've got my bed here. I'm going to go um, component, place component, my bed. Now the first option, we want to go and we want to go Array, Modify, Array, we'll select it, and there are options. Now we'll go to second here, and, and, and this is always the second element. This is just a number. That's just a default number, so we will say our second bed will go here, and then for that distance, we add as many beds as we want. Now from the last, we'll go and insert another bed again. And we'll do this one to last. We'll, we'll modify. And we'll click to last here. And we'll just place where our last bed will be. 
say, let's say it's going to be 71 feet, and then we'll say 10. So those are the differences between uh, move to second or move to last. So kind of hope this helps you out. Uh, have any more questions, please feel free to drop me a note and be safe and I hope all is well. Take care and I'll see you later. If you have any more questions, let me know. Bye.